So good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Desmos, and you're all welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empaths free. If you are new and narcissism resonates with you, I invite you to join us, like the page, share with the friends, subscribe. And for those that have always been with me, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your love and support. Yesterday I did a video about the narcissist and karma. So in, this vid in that video yesterday, I made it a point that I told you the importance of you stepping out of this situation. You have got to step out. When you have, be you when you have discovered you've been dealing with abuse, those individuals, they have caused you pain and they have done everything, uh, everything to you. You have got usually to step out and allow everything to happen in divine, in, in, in divine order. The reason why I was saying that was because sometimes you can, you can decide to hang on, you can decide to, to, to stay around, to hang, to hang around, and actually, the karma can also catch up with you. So most of the cases, the reason why I've, I've advised people to step out is because you have got to get yourself out of that situation because whatever is going to happen with those individuals, you don't want to be a part of it. That video that, that video I did yesterday, a lady got back to me and uh, shared with me a story. So we agreed that uh, I'm not going to mention her details and everything. So in this video, I'm going to keep it anonymous and I'm going to call her Mrs. N.W. So Mrs. N.W. shared with us her story of her experience with the narcissist who actually ended up in a much more difficult situation. I'm, I'm not going to mention what situation it is. I'm going to let you guys hear the story for herself so that you can make your own judgment. And at the end of the video, I would like to know in the comment section below what you think about it. But again, I must warn, this may be some of the stuff may be disturbing. But as disturbing as it is, on this video, on this channel, we talk about the truth. This is the channel of truth. So, the truth has got to come out. And this, this video, as much as some of the stuff may be disturbing, I want you guys to keep an open mind and do not make any judgments. It's just because I'm sending out this information to make it very clear that those individuals, it doesn't matter how they how far they run, whatever they do, come as going to catch up back with them. That's how, that's how, that's how it works eventually. So, without wasting time, without further delay, let's listen, let's listen into this video. Let's hear what this lady has got to say. You can make your own judgment. You can give me your comments. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Let's do this, guys. I wanted you to know that I think I've had the ultimate karma story and want to share with you. Before I do, let me just say that your videos are always on point and I think you're truly walking in your God-ordained purpose by being brave and kind enough to make these videos. There are so many people all around the world who truly need this kind of confirmation to assure them that they're not going crazy after narcissistic abuse. I know they have helped me a lot, so I just want to personally thank you for all your effort. My karma story about my ex-narc actually ended in his death at the age of just 34. We met about six years before he was brutally murdered in 2013. At the beginning we were only friends and we both were in other relationships, he actually had just had a baby girl. With his then girlfriend and they were about to break up. We worked very close to each other and he visited me daily and would give me stories about his baby's mother and how bad she was but I would keep trying to convince him to work it out for the baby's sake. This went on for about two months before one day he came to my workplace with the baby in hand and said the child's mother had just dropped off the baby and left. Well as a woman not a mother as I have no kids, I felt sorry for him and took the baby home to keep her for the rest of the day until he sorted out other arrangements. He eventually convinced the child's mother to take back the baby and thanked me profusely. He started coming around my workplace even more often and tried to get closer to me but I resisted because I was actually engaged to my boyfriend who lived in america i'm from trinidad by the way in the caribbean although i have an african name anyways in those days cell phones were just becoming popular and my then fiance had just sent me one so i could keep in contact with him the friend at the time was obsessed with my new phone and always wanted to borrow it to show off to his friends at work and he would take it over to his job at times i warned him not to answer any foreign numbers if it ever rang while he was in possession of the phone then one day my fiancé called and the friend answered claiming to be my boyfriend. Well it goes without saying. That ruined my engagement and we eventually broke up because my fiancé started distrusting me. 
After a couple months the friend broke up with his baby's mother and we ended up in a relationship. It was good for a while until I realized that the thrill for him was in the chase. As soon as he realized that he was successful in ruining my relationship and had me to himself it seems like he got bored. He was very promiscuous and even cheated on me with his baby's mother. Anyways, a few years had passed and I eventually left the relationship but every time I left he would come and beg for another chance then he started to get physically abusive and that's when I left for good. He eventually got into another relationship and had a second baby girl but he really wanted a boy. He said that's one of the reasons he was cheating on me by the way because I didn't or wouldn't have a boy child for him so I cut my losses and moved on as well. I was focused on my new career goals of becoming a pilot and working hard at my flight exams, needless to say when he found out I was becoming a pilot he was at my door again. A whole lot of narcissistic drama played out in between that time but too much to mention. I completely cut him off and got the police involved so that he would stay away, eventually I found out that he had another baby the boy that he always wanted and that he was planning to get married after he ruined my engagement, but I was actually happy for him and thought he would settle down finally. About 4 months after his baby boy was born I got a call out of the blue from one of his school friends asking me if I had heard the news that my ex had died. I was in shock. Apparently his new baby's mother had kids with and was the ex of a corrupt police officer with links to the drug world. She was being stalked and threatened by the ex and they set up my ex and had him killed. He went missing for a few days and was eventually found in an open field with gunshot wounds. He was already decomposing when he was found and vultures had started pecking out his eyes. He had to have a closed casket at his funeral because of the state he was in when found. The saddest thing is that after his death a few women came forward claiming to have kids for him that no one knew about and even sadder. He never even got to hear his precious boy child call him daddy. Talk about karma? I was just hoping that he would get an STD or just have a hard life financially but to think that he would die in such a horrible way at such a young age is really sad and scary. God deals with those narcissists in a very brutal way and we just have to wait for his perfect timing. Anyways, nice to be able to give you my story. I hope you stay blessed and highly favored. God is using you in a mighty way and we love and appreciate you. Thanks again for all your hard work and effort. God bless you densely.